In this Tobacco University video, we do a fluorescent light comparison directed towards cannabis production. So if you're in the market for a fluorescent light, you might want to consider some of the options presented here. Now a disclaimer is that I've not received any financial compensation for writing the following product review. I have no material connection to the brands, products, or services that I have mentioned here. So as a standard for comparison, to set kind of uh, an equal comparison, all the following lights are T5s, are four feet long, and are eight bulb design. For each light, I'll provide you the good, the bad, and my general recommendations. So starting with the first one here, the Sunblaze, it has a five-year warranty. Uh, it only runs on 120 volt power, which might be limiting for larger areas and average light at an average price. So kind of that good kind of like middle ground light, the Sunblaze. Then we get into the Quantum Bad Boy light. And the good is that the ballast drives more wattage. It has large reflectors. However, it is the most expensive option. And the price performance may be justifiable when you're looking at that comparison. It is directed a little bit more to the commercial market. So it is kind of comes in the voltage of potentially 120 or 240 um, and kind of a nice general light here. Then we have the Agro Bright, which is a, also has a five-year warranty. It includes these uh, 6,400 uh, Kelvin bulbs. It's not as high power as some of the top end lights, and it seems to be an above average light at an attractive price. So again, another one worth uh, comparing there. Now, if I was to only select one, uh, I would select the Quantum Bad Boys. So while fluorescence may have limited applications for cannabis production, but if you're looking for an early propagation light, this may fit the particular stage of the grow cycle. Uh, I've talked with some growers uh, that do have these. They do seem to really like them. They seem to last. They seem to be improvement of over other lights that they were using. So this is why if I was to select one out of the ones mentioned, this is the one I would select. So just simply use this as a comparison as you shop for the light that's a best fit for your situation.